know there's some emotion that goes into it, but if you look at the metrics and you look at the numbers, we've got two outstanding high schools, arguably the two best high schools in the state, and, I don't, and there's no reason, it's just in our DNA, the high expectations, the high achievement, there's no reason that we won't have the three most outstanding high schools. The attendance area obviously has been reduced in area and also in terms of enrollment, and uh, uh, this area here, uh, which as I said includes Baxter uh, and uh, Willowbrook, Sutton Place, uh, Wimbledon Woods, Mason's Bend, uh, as well as the Kanawha development. And here again uh, is the map that shows uh, the uh, impact of uh, the residential development. In essence, again, runs along uh, Harris Road here, uh, you know, south along 77, cuts across here, uh, and extends upward or north uh, along Highway 21. Uh, this area, of course, you know, like Option B, uh, you know, uh, Walden Park and some of the developments in that area under these two options would attend Catawba Ridge High School. And if you total the last column, that represents a total of 1,001 students. Now, option B, again, picks up those same two categories, but in addition, we have to look at the numbers of students that would transfer from Fort Mill to Nation Ford. And uh, that is the 318 figure that you see at the far right. Uh, that particular option, if you add everything together, uh, totals 1135. So it involves, uh, you know, another 134 students uh, than what we looked at with option A. Why we're here. Uh, obviously, this slide, is in a nutshell, tells you we've been growing by roughly 6% annually, making us the fastest growing school district per capita in the state. We had over 1,050 new students this year. I'm proud to be able to be trusted enough to be the first principal of Catawba Ridge High School. But we've got the two best traditional high schools in the state of South Carolina. Um, and that doesn't come by chance. It doesn't come by lottery. It comes for, there's a, there's a dozen things that go into making Fort Mill High School and Nation Ford High School the best two schools in the state. 